Okay guys, this is part two of my boat lift motor re uh, cleaning and you know diagnostics. Uh, like I said, I showed you how to take it off in part one off the lift so you don't fall in the water, lose your motor. And this is the disassembled part. As I, I showed you, uh, I took off that the one back plate, had the pulley. I was luckily, lucky enough to find my pulley remover. because it, You probably can get it off other ways. I just had that, so it made it easy. And the thing is really simple, so don't be intimidated. There's that clutchy thing I was telling you about. I cleaned that out using this electrical cleaner and got that all cleaned out. I cleaned out the whole housing with the electrical cleaner outside. As I mentioned um, maybe earlier, take pictures of everything if you're going to disconnect wires. I haven't disconnected any wires here. I did add some, have some green fuzzy looking contacts, so I got those. I blew the electrical cleaner throughout the whole housing. A lot of debris and rust was in there and got it out. There was some debris on those uh, winding uh, contacts there. So clean that out. I already looked at my, I think it's a capacitor type thing. I don't know if that's bad or not, um, but it's it, this lift was buzzing if uh, you saw my part one. So it's actually quite simple. Back plate, front plate, and this thing comes right out super easy. There's no like contraption that explodes in your face with a bunch of springs, which is nice. And then that switch I showed you, or I might have uh, talked about on the back side of this thing. If you guys look in here, see this switch? That's what's getting pushed by that clutch thing or so, or dis disengaged. So I took my sandpaper and I got it in behind that. I can't sh show you. I slipped it in behind there and did the little shimmy and then sprayed it with the cleaner. So that's all clean. I'm going to clean my contacts up. Bearings were good on both sides, and I'm going to put her back together, and we'll see what happens. I'll let you guys know. But these things are quite simple, so don't be afraid of them. Um, just rip it apart, and there's really not a lot of parts to it. Just remember to take your photographs along the way so you're not losing track of what's, what happened where uh, or video. I uh, hope that helps, and I'll let you know if this works out. Talk to you later.